Hi, dear students. It's nice to see you. I'm in my pharmacy right now. I own a pharmacy in Toronto. It's an IDA called Henley Gardens IDA. And I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about an interesting product. We know that biologics are becoming very, very common. And what I see is a lot of patients say, I wish my doctor started me on this earlier. Why with the rheumatoid? Why did I start on methotrexate? It didn't work, caused many side effects, I struggled, I should have been on something that will work early on. And now I'm seeing rheumatologists slowly, uh, they're starting to prescribe biologics earlier, which is better. So I have a patient, she is 98, 99 years old, beautiful, I love her. She is a very kind person. She struggled with rheumatoid for very, very years. And because of her rheumatoid was uh, being uncontrolled, she was taking a lot of prednisone for years. And then she developed Cushing. So her cheeks were puffy, um, all the symptoms of Cushing's, especially the puffiness. So whenever I saw her, I could automatically see due to the prednisone use, she had Cushing's. And then her doctor finally prescribed her the biologic. So the biologic they prescribed is Euphlema. Euphlema is called Adalimumab. Very common biologic we teach our students about in class. Very, very common. And they come in different forms. This is a newer um, injector that patients can do themselves. So I usually assist her. She comes, does it herself, but she likes me to watch her. This one is every two weeks. It is administered. Okay. This one is kept in the refrigerator. And something like this can be, um, it's fair game to be tested on your exam. So I want you to see what the product looks like. It looks and it's administered like an EpiPen. It's an auto injector. But there are differences. When you give an EpiPen to somebody, you can put it through the clothing. Okay? These auto injectors, these biologics, you cannot put through clothing. It has to be put on bare skin. It can be administered in the thighs. It can also be administered around the belly button area. You have to give a patient an alcohol swab to wipe it. Like an EpiPen, once it is administered, the needle is covered. So some patients say, oh, if the needle is covered, do I still have to put it in a sharps container? You absolutely do. No matter what, you always put it in a sharps container. But let's look at the product together. And this is new and a lot of biologics are coming in this way now. So this is what the injector looks like. Okay, uh, this is the dose counter. So if you look at it, it's clear. Okay, it has to be clear. So I always educate patients, check if it is clear. If it's yellow or discolored, we cannot use it. You may find an air bubble in there. Do you see that air bubble? If you're giving a vaccine, we have to remove air bubbles to the best of our ability. But in this case, the air bubble is safe. So it's okay if it has an air bubble. We don't have to push it out or do anything like that. Okay? And so that's what it looks like. Once we are ready to, oh, before we inject or pretend to inject, I want to show it to you. This is what you can see a needle in there. Okay? Looks like this. And I always double check the expiry. So I always tell the patient, check the expiry. Check what it looks like. And before injection, the monograph, the drug company recommends you keep it at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes. Room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes before administration. So you take off the cap. Okay. When you take off the cap, it looks like this. Okay. And this is what it looks like inside. You can see the needle. And then you hold it like a pen. And then you can put it in the thigh or you can put it around the belly. And once you do that, once you inject it, you will hear one click. But you don't take it out after the first click. I had a patient remove it after a first click. You cannot do that. You push it in, you hear one click. And then you will see the dose counter becomes blue because the liquid will drain. Once all the liquid is drained, you'll hear a second click. When you hear the second click, it's done. And once you pull it out, you'll see that this is blue. And that's it. And then you put it in the sharps container. That is how you administer the new auto-injector Euphlema.